Welcome to Social Allo Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God while exposing the devil. There are times when people, they have an agenda, and they want to advance it so badly that they will stop listening to the Lord. They will shut out all the dissenting voices, those voices of reason, and they'll surround themselves with people who will tell them what they want to hear. In 1 Kings 22, King Ahab called Jehoshaphat the king of Judah, and they wanted to go to battle, or especially Ahab wanted to go to battle at Ramoth Gilead. So he asked his prophets, all of his prophets, all 400 of them, told him to go, that he would be successful. Exactly what he wanted here. But Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, asked if there wasn't a man of God that they could inquire of. So they sent for Micaiah, the prophet. The emissary told Micaiah to tell Ahab what the other prophets had said. Again, Ahab wasn't really interested in the truth. He wanted people to confirm what he wanted to hear. So initially, Micaiah told him exactly what he wanted to hear. But Ahab knew that the prophet was messing with him. And then the prophet told him exactly what was going on. And he told him that he had a vision of the Lord in heaven, surrounded by the heavenly host. And the Lord is asking how they should mislead Ahab into going to battle. And a spirit came along and said that he would be a lying spirit in all of his prophet's mouths. And the Lord told him to go ahead because he would be successful. That is exactly what happened. That one lying spirit deceived Ahab's 400 prophets. And nothing about Ahab's prophets. They weren't prophets of God. They were prophets of the king. In 1 Kings 18, you see how an issue with Jezebel, the prophet Elijah, and they had their prophets who served Baal, another god. So Ahab had his prophets in-house who would basically tell him the things that he wanted to hear. But Micaiah, he served the Lord, so he told him the truth. But even when Micaiah told Ahab the truth, Ahab did not want to hear it. Micaiah clearly told Ahab that if he took the word of those prophets and went into battle, that he was going to die. You would think that Ahab would be very receptive. But what did he do? He put Micaiah in jail. Basically put him on bread and water. But Micaiah told him, well, put him in bread and water until he returned. But Micaiah told Ahab that if he were to return, that meant the Lord had not spoken through him. Well, guess what? Despite the 400 prophets who were telling Micaiah what, or Ahab what he wanted to hear, Micaiah was telling the truth, but Ahab did not want to hear it. And he went into battle. And it seemed like just happenstance. The enemy, they shot Ahab. He died a slow death. And it's fair to assume that while the life force was draining out of him, that he remembered the words of Micaiah. One thing I try to do, or not to do, is to tell people, I told you so. Because if it gets to that point, they will know that they were told. Ahab, he knew what he was told. But rather than listening to the truth, he only listened to those who said the things that he wanted to hear. Now, in today's society, for example, with social media, if we don't want to hear what the person is saying, we can block them. In a lot of cases, that is a good thing because sometimes you just know that someone is speaking on behalf of the devil. But then there are times when a person is speaking the truth and others will not want to hear what that person or those individuals are saying. And it will be to their detriment. And when the time comes, they will know that the Lord sent one and most likely several messengers to let the person know to repent because he or she was in error. 
Do not just surround yourself with people who tell you what you want to hear. Surround yourselves with people who will tell you the truth. To include when it goes against what you want to hear. A lot of times when a person has a message from the Lord, they will kind of suffer like Micaiah. Some people may say they're of the devil. But as Micaiah said, that if Ahab returned, then the Lord had not spoken through him. In Deuteronomy 18, verses 20 through 22, when the Lord is talking about true and false prophets, the Lord clearly made it known, made it known that you will know that a prophet who declares something in his name, that that is a thing spoken of by the Lord because it comes to pass. Unless there is a call for repentance, like what happened when Jonah preached at Nineveh, they repented so the Lord relented of his decision. But other than that, when the Lord says something's going to happen, it happens. And if you happen to be a messenger of God, whether you have a title or not, if the Lord gives you a message to give someone, believe me, the Lord's not going to have you harass that person in an effort to give that person a message. You give it once, the person can choose to receive it or not, but in time, you will know whether the Lord has spoken through that person or not. Four hundred prophets, but they were all wrong. Please ensure that you're listening to the right voice. Please ensure that you're listening to the right voice. Because sometimes the voice of God will tell you something you do not want to hear.